First to six, Detroit's big deal. The mayor and the billionaire are talking about a twin for the Ambassador Bridge in exchange for some landmark improvements here in the city. 7 Action News reporter Dave Llewellyn is here now with details on a plan some are already calling into question, Dave. Carolyn, the mayor has negotiated for some immediate benefits for the city in the deal, but not everyone is applauding the agreement. On the surface, it sounds very beautiful. Um, however, the devil is in the details. And for City Councilwoman Raquel Castaneda Lopez, that's the problem with Mayor Mike Duggan's agreement with the Maroon family. She's yet to see the details of the deal. We need to shift how we do development in the city versus finalizing a deal, presenting it to the media, and then sharing it with council and the public. This agreement has been months in the making. Discussions with the Maroon family started after Mike Duggan took office, and he had some clear objectives for this deal. The agreement, negotiated by Duggan and Matthew Maroon, the son of billionaire Matty Maroon, includes a land swap, the Maroon's need to add a second span for the Ambassador Bridge. The city of Detroit will benefit through an expanded and improved Riverside Park. In addition, the Maroons are spending $5 million to put windows in the Michigan Central Depot, securing the landmark as a first step in its redevelopment. There's pushback on everything in this town. It's jobs for Detroiters and it's continuing uh, to build Detroit at the center of an international uh, logistics hub. I think it's a good thing for the city. Critics include former state representative Rashida Tlaib, who slams the deal in a post on her Facebook page, writing in part, Whatever this plan is, it will involve Maddie getting yet more public land and more negative impact on our neighborhood that has been spit on by this man for decades. We deserve better than this. Governor Rick Snyder, in a statement through his spokesperson, said, quote, Mayor Duggan's announcement regarding the proposed Riverside Park transaction does not affect the new international trade crossing, which is proceeding full steam ahead. The statement continued, we are working closely with our partners in Canada on this vital infrastructure project that will help Detroit and Michigan's economy continue to grow long into the future. Approval from Washington, D.C., as well as the federal government of Canada and city of Windsor are all necessary before the Maroons would be allowed to add to the Ambassador Bridge. And those will be significant hurdles still for the Maroons to clear if the second span is ever built the Maroons will write another $2 million check to the city of Detroit. And Mike Duggan made it clear today that's the only contingency for Detroit with this agreement. It figures to get to city council perhaps next week for their approval as well. But the mayor moving quickly right. to uh, make this deal. And people are raising their hands already saying, wait just a minute. Some are. And yes. the governor says it's not going to affect the other bridge, but who knows? I mean, who knows what effect this might Mike have. Thinks, uh, the mayor thinks it would be fine having... All right. Two bridges. There you go. Might we happen. shall see, huh, Dave? Yeah, All right, thank you much.